Okay, hello everybody. I'm Dan Lockman, I'm working for LifeLearn since June this year. So we are a um, very, very new startup, just finishing our a, 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 a seeding round right now. So, um, but yeah, we're sort of tackling the same problems as, as Para was just talking about, maybe in a slightly more general case. So what we're building is a really something that, that's, you know, in the morning session, there's this talk of the uh, API of me, and we're sort of doing something like that, building a platform where um, any one person can sort of collect all of their learning, what they're, what they're learning, what they have learned, what they're learning right now, what they're aiming for, collect that all in, into a single location. So that's, you know, your school, your hobbies, whatever training you're getting at, at school, uh, at, in your workplace, and, and so on. And, um, and of course it's going to be a hugely um, interesting database of data that's collected there. And basically what Parag was saying about, about learning being fun and engaging you know, couldn't agree more. We maybe our approach is maybe slightly focusing more on the social aspect that we see that right, you as a learner are in the center. It's about you and what's best for you and all these adapting and learning about how you learn and what's 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 what would be suitable for you. It's all very, very relevant. But we also want to bring in the communities around. So if you're learning, you know, Pokemon Go or skateboarding with your friends, you know, you can set up your own study circle or, or you know, find a mentor or coach and, and learn like that. Or there's, uh, you know, more formal courses, plugging, it, plugging the platform into your school's database and, and sort of uh, seeing what you're supposed to be studying um, at school. And... Um, Yeah, maybe I won't go into too much detail on the actual, you know, the details of the platform itself. Uh, we'll have a public launch in two weeks, 15th of September, at Netform here in Helsinki. Um, so then there's something concrete available. So if you go on online, there's really nothing yet. So if you're interested, come and talk to me. But of course, data data that we're collecting is good. You know, it's, it's basically basically what Par was saying. You know, the same data, um, perhaps a bit more. Um, especially the the uh, social networks and social interactions between each learner are going to be also stuff that we're interested in. And of course, um, the goals are quite similar. I mean, the platform. The reason for the platform is to also help the person learn more meaningful things and sort of see what what could be valuable. Like for example, economy is changing and you're sort of becoming your skills are becoming obsolete. What skills should you be learning to be relevant in the you know, the future economy? Things like that. So we're probably going to be collecting a lot of lot of data. Although you know this morning's uh, presentation about Companies over collecting was something I made a note of. So, um, to figure out what we actually need to be collecting and and um, and what's going to be going to be used for, but, um, but certainly that my data principles are in the very core. So actually, in the uh, last spring when I was uh, being recruited to the company, you know, the CEO actually showed some slides about the. Uh, original concept, and there was the word my data, and that was what a big reason why I actually joined the company. Was then so that there's some the you know the values are sort of right in there, and just looking at the trust issues, especially with children, I mean, it's it's sort of a big issue also in Finland when schools or municipalities are obtaining you know Google apps for education or Office 365 or whatever. And then we realize that oops, okay, the um, the data data privacy doesn't really work as it's supposed to, and then the municipalities are sort of in a, in a pickle with that. Um, so 
here we're actually we're not just providing a plat uh, you know a service but actually a platform that could host you know uh, hundreds or thousands of different services and games and content providers and all that so um, would you like to you know give your child's personal data into a platform like that well I mean quite a few people use Facebook and so forth but anyways so we sort of see that trust is essential that the, at the core we have to build everything so that the user actually really owns their data they have the option of deleting everything at any point you know exporting it importing it back if they want to seeing what's actually in there and also sort of the all the smart contract things that they can then plug that you know decide who gets access to that data does the learner want their parent to see what they're studying at school? Do they want their uh, teacher to see what they're, what they're learning on their free time? Possibly or possibly not, but it's up to them. Um, do you as an, as an employee, do you want to show your HR manager what you're, what, how you're doing on the courses that they paid for you to take? Uh, might be well, sort of prudent to give that access, but, um, but we have to we're sort of seeing that, that the control needs to be in the hands of the, the user or, or the learner who, who's generating that data. So we've actually made a, like a month ago, we made a public my data pledge, which was sort of a deep, you dive into it because we don't really know the architecture or the, you know, the nuts and bolts of my data. But we sort of still went ahead and said that out loud that, that whatever we do with this, it's, it's going to be my data compliant whatever that means in practice in the future. So we're sort of hoping that the hackathons for the previous couple of days actually create something, because we need them pretty soon, uh, those uh, libraries and architectures. But yeah, that's, um, that's sort of uh, the short and sweet of it. So uh, building the Uber for learning and keeping the learners in the center and in control of what's happening. So yeah, that's it. And we'll continue in the in the workshops. Probably join up with her and uh, talk about things related to education and learning. All right. Thank you.